Hi Leo, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in. If you're new, welcome. This will be a reading having a look to see if there is someone from your past who will make a comeback into your life, Leo. Now this can be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Um, it might be someone you dated, it could be someone you were married to, someone you just started dating and the connection fell through. Uh, I want you to meditate on this person for a moment. Hold their image in your mind um, and we'll see if we can channel the energies for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus to see if this person is in fact coming back um, and if they are, when and potentially what else they're sort of going through at this point in time, Leo. So let's have a look and see what the cards can reveal. Will they come back? Okay, if you're wanting to come, um, uh, you're, you're wanting for this person to come back. The news is, the good news is, sorry, that the lovers card have come up, which is a union, a reconciliation, or a relationship that's going to take place, some sort of connection that's going to be rebirthed between the both of you, Leo. Now, before we get to that, let's talk about the ten of wands, which is the first card that has come up, which is burdensome energy. I feel like right now this person is dealing with a heavy heart. I also feel like they feel there's a lot of pressure to return to you. Now, I'm not sure if you've put this pressure on them. I'm not sure if they've put that sort of pressure on themselves. Nonetheless, she has the weight of the world on her shoulders, okay? She carries the weight of the world on her shoulders. It could be that someone feels very responsible for how things ended, okay? Or they felt like they were the catalyst. Um, in terms of the question, will they come back? I think it's with a heavy heart that they might come back, but I feel like... Um, I mean, the good news is, the good thing about the Ten of Wands is, is that although things are very heavy and things are very intense, she manages, this, this Earth Goddess manages to keep things afloat. So she manages order and stability in a time of disorder and instability. So it can point to someone who is really resilient. It can also be someone who's quite persistent. So you might get um, endless messages, texts, phone calls. Um, you know, it, it can be stubbornness in a way, but I feel like it's persistence. Persistence to prove a point. Persistence um, for this person to have you back. Uh, persistence of ego. Uh, of course, every single person um, out there that you're dealing with is going to be very different. Okay, different signs way of thinking these people are very different uh, so it's hard to pinpoint the exact uh, behavior I suppose but I feel with the ten of wands there is an indication here that this person feels like things are very heavy um, or they might not want to come back as yet I mean the lovers card can represent the time of Gemini so May 20th to June uh, sorry May 21st uh, to June 20th of next year you know, it could be that this is when the two of you reconcile. You might bump into each other. You might reach out to each other. There could be a union. Um, the lover's card is seen as a soulmate connection. Now, it's absolutely possible that the person that you're thinking about or were involved with or hoping will come back into your life and, and show up again is in fact a soulmate connection. And a reason, I guess this would further purport that this person is wanting to come back and why they're wanting to come back because this this is this connection that you have is otherworldly. Um, now, the lover's card is also Gemini energy. Um, Gemini's, because this, I mean, it could be a Gemini that you're dealing with or waiting on here, Leo. But if Gemini energy is coming up around your relationship, um, it can signify communication. Gemini is ruled by Mercury. Um, they're ruled by uh, thought, mentality, you know, they're, they're the communicator, they're one of the best communicators in the zodiac, um, they're very articulate, not tooting my own horn here at all, um, but look, uh, the lover's card, because it represents communication and the lovers represent an embrace or a union, there's, there's high potential for the two of you to see each other again, to date, to reconnect, to see each other face to face, but there's also high potential for talks of a union. Okay, so let's think about the communication. There's communication here. So I do feel like there is someone wanting to come back and see where your head is at in some regard. So I guess that's good news if you're wanting to connect with this sign, Leo. Uh, uh, connect with this person, sorry. 
I think that that heralds some good news here. Um, the lovers card, they're also very embraced. So um, I do feel like there might be someone wanting to come back and connect with you physically. Um, they might want to be close to you again. They might want intimacy or affection. Uh, you know, they might want that closeness to you. Okay. The, the things that they had when the two of you were in a relationship, obviously, you know, some people still maintain a physical connection, a friends with benefits thing or a casual thing. Um, maybe this doesn't apply to you, but for those that haven't maintained any sort of affection since this person has left or since you've left them, there is a possibility, Leo, that they are wanting the goods from you and they're thinking about it and they might express these views very, very soon um, because this is what they're wanting from you. With the lover's card, it is passion, it is lust, it can also be love or it can be that someone is still in love with you. Okay, they're still very much in love, especially if you were married. The lover's card can be seen as a union. It can be seen as a wedding. The birds carry away the crown, which can symbolize a wedding band. So if you've been engaged or fianced to this person, maybe this is more heightened, okay, for those Leos. Um, nonetheless, the Nine of Pentacles is here. Now, the Nine of Pentacles, um, A, the number nine, can represent fulfillment and understanding and finally acknowledging something. Um, and you do have that 10 here and, and also the six with the, with the lovers. So high numbers here. But the nine of pentacles is, is seen as complacency. So, I mean, it could really go one of two ways. I think there's someone here who's complacent. If the connection maybe wasn't as long term, they might be complacent with what you had. Yes, they might have a heavy heart. There might be some regret here. But they're happy. They understand why things ended and they're, they're okay with it. Okay, they're, they're comfortable with it. Or they're starting to become comfortable with it. For others of you, there could be someone here, maybe an earth sign, a Capricorn, Virgo or a Taurus, with the nine of pentacles who's observing you from a distance. Because this is seen as the muse card, she observes the pentacle. Almost in admiration or idolatry, but it's from afar. It's been placed on a pedestal. So there's someone thinking that either you're too good for them, you're out of their league, or they can't match up to your level. They have tried. Okay, this is not for all of you, but for some of you, if you broke up because of these reasons, this these symbolisms here could be connected to that. They tried really hard to impress or to get on your level, um, or there was a lot of pressure to, to act a certain way or be a certain way or have the same interests as you or hold the same traditional beliefs. There was pressure. And in one way, there's someone here who's comfortable enough, sad, although sad, okay, but comfortable enough to watch you from a distance and say, this person is happier without me. And that's really, really bittersweet when I think about that. That's actually quite heartbreaking, you know, when people think this way. Unfortunately, we can't help it sometimes psychologically because of insecurities or lack of love or, you know, in, in childhood development or in relationships. Some people don't feel like they're good enough. Or some people feel like they're beneath us, okay? Or they need to, you know, we're out of their league or, you know, we're, we're too good or we're too different. And, and if we just be this or we just be that, then we'd be perfect. But that's no way of, of, of attracting and thinking about someone. But look, I'm going on a bit of a tangent here. Uh, back to the Nine of Pentacles. It is the Muse card. It is complacency. Um, but it's also passion and expressing passion. So I do sense there is someone here who will finally, it's almost like they'll finally understand how much you mean to them. And I do think there's a lot of um, potential for reconciliation to take place, at least a physical one at the minimum level. Um, and then there could be more, okay, there could be more beyond that. Um, but you'll need to nurture it because the Nine of Pentacles nurtures. But there could also be someone observing you from a distance, especially if you work together, you're still connected on social media. They're still following you somehow, you know, following your moves, seeing where you've been and admiring, you know, what you have to present. Um, but I will leave it at that, Leo. I do want to thank you for watching. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this reading. If you'd like a private one, all the information that you require is listed below this video.